Just about every Creality machine comes with a pack of tools, including a full set of Allen wrenches for building the machine and also fixing it. But wouldn't it be nice if they had T-handles and a place to store them on the printer? Well, I made one, and I did it with a .6 nozzle. I'll explain it all on today's Film It Friday. Film It Friday is brought to you by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. This video is also brought to you by Creality3dofficial.com by ComGrow. I have a full set of these T-handle Allen wrenches that I bought on Amazon. I'll put a link to these in the description below if you like them. But they're awfully big and I don't want them hanging on the printer and they don't fit into a drawer if the printer has a drawer. But I wanted this effect for the Allen wrenches that come with the machine. And then I found this print or set of prints on Thingiverse. I did a search and I found there's a bunch of different handles out there, but I like this one from Gary Grano that was actually on Thingiverse. And what I like about it, it looks really nice, it's really smooth, doesn't require supports, but the Allen wrench can pop right out. You can use it in that way or pop it tightly into the handle and use it this way. And it's got the size right in the front of it. Now I made the mount for it, I'll explain more about that in a minute, but I want to see if I could print this with a 0.6 nozzle and still get the detail of the lettering. He had a whole bunch of different handles. I'm just going to use the 1.5 millimeter, 2, 2.5, 3, and 4 millimeter handles, group them together, print it with my 0.6 profile. I'm going to use all the existing settings, including the 15% infill. When I slice it, it says it'll take 2 hours and 47 minutes. I'm going to use this gold silk filament, and I have no idea what brand it is. There's nothing on the sticker. I even scanned the barcode. It still doesn't tell me who it is. But it prints really, really nice. Look at these handles. You can easily read the wording, and they're nice and smooth. These handles are a great design. You take the Allen wrench, just slide it in the center hole, and then pull it. And there's little bumps inside that will hold the Allen wrench. You'll feel it click. But you can just as easily push it out and use just the Allen wrench. So all you do is just pull it down, hear a click, and you're ready to use it. I designed the holder in Tinkercad. I already had this section that would slide into an aluminum extrusion, so I just put that on top of a block and then put in the holes. So this was real easy to make. Then I flipped it so it's flat so it can print this way, but it was interesting. You can print it another way and it'll take longer. Here, let me show you. So if I go into Cure and I print this flat with my good profile, one hour. But if I rotate this 90 degrees so it's sitting on its edge like this, and then I slice it, same profile, no changes, one hour and 21 minutes. How is that different? It's the walls. The walls take longer in the taller print. So I printed it like this and it came out really nice. There's a little bit of ringing on the one side, but overall I think this is a pretty good print on an Ender 3. To install it, just take off the end cap, slide it into the rail, and then we'll put the end cap back on to stop it from coming off. And then you can slide it wherever you want. Now we just need to put the Allen wrenches in it. They slide into each hole, and they're different size holes, so you can't really mix them up. And now you can pivot them left and right, but it's great to have them handy. I really like the quality I'm getting with the 0.6 nozzle with my profile. Now that is gone at the end of the month. It moves to Patreon support only. But the surface quality I'm getting out of is really good. I can read the numbers, and this gold looks great against the black. I like having these hang in there so I can easily get to them. Now if I do a tall print, of course, I have to remove that. and It just slides out and then I can slide it back in. But the fact that you have these Allen wrenches with every printer means you can print out a set for every printer. So you don't have to lose your Allen wrenches. They're always right there. Now, if you're looking to get a 3D printer, Ender 3 Neo is a good place to start. It's got auto level, glass bed, and silent drivers, all for under $200. And you can get it from Creality3dofficial.com by ComGrow, official reseller of Creality products. So check out Creality3dofficial.com. They have the Ender 3 Neo for $192.72. And for me, in the U.S., it's free shipping. So check it out at Creality3dofficial.com. So I'll put a link to all these files in the description below as well. So download it, try them out, and let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way. And if nothing else, click on that Filament Friday logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.